James Dimmick, CBS Interactive. Mary Kifo Ozel Relin Star Trek Discovery Star Trek Discovery, which has just been renewed for a second season on CBS All Access, owned by CBS Corp. CBS, 1.74% examines the war between the Federation of Planets and the Klingons. The latest installment in the iconic sci-fi series canon takes a deeper dive into Klingon culture, giving significant airtime to the species as they speak their native tongue. Showrunner Aaron Harbert said that from the outset the show's creator Brian Fuller wanted to showcase the adversarial aliens' culture and language. It was important to be able to tell both sides of the war. That absolutely required us to tell Klingon stories, he said. We were committed from the get-go to tell those stories in Klingon. To do that, they needed the help of Klingon translator. Enter Robin Stewart. I'm having difficulty saying I'm the best Klingon speaker in Canada said Ms. Stewart. I was the person to get. Ms. Stewart has become integral to the production of The Discovery, which is shot in Canada. From translating scripts to tweaking dialogue, Ms. Stewart is pretty much on call 247 for the show, Mr. Harbert said. She's a master at this language, said Ray Nolan, who is a vocal coach on the show. And to be able to work with her and her level of subtlety and clarity of the language is also really impressive. Ms. Stewart translates the Klingon parts of the script written by the Los Angeles-based writers. While the scripts go through the usual back and forth from production to studio to network and back again, Miss Stewart is involved at every stage. She says she'll often record herself saying the lines so the actors can work on the dialect with Ms. Nolan. Then there's post-production, where lines are often cut or scenes are tweaked. Because the Klingon syntax follows the order of time place object for subject, changes in dialogue can change the entire meaning of a scene. If they make a tiny tweak in the English, the entire Klingon gets completely disassembled and put back together again, Miss Stewart said. For example, translating the dog ran home yesterday from English to Klingon, the sentence structure would read yesterday home ran the dog. Mark Ralston on FBGT images William Shatner and Elizabeth Shatner with Klingons at the Hollywood premiere of CBS's Star Trek Discovery Mark Ralston on FBGT images still, Miss Stewart has been enjoying her experience working on the show, her first time as a translator. One of the reasons she wanted to do Discovery, which is set about 10 years before the original series, was to spark interest in the language and get more people learning Klingon. That's already had an effect. Since the show's debut on September 24, the Learn Klingon Facebook group, of which Ms. Stewart is a moderator, has added about 70 new members. Most people who speak Klingon in the world know me, she said. The support I've got, people are just so thrilled to have a real Klingon on television. It's like they don't want this to fail. It's not just learned speakers of the language who have taken the show to heart. Mary Kifo, who plays Klingon Officer L. Rel, said the lyrical text has put to great use her training at Juilliard. At six feet tall, Ms. Kifo said she had grown used to being cast as male characters, especially in Shakespearean roles such as Macbeth and King Lear. Training with heightened text as well as playing soldiers helped her get into character for the Klingon who also gets to show a more tender side. A recent episode showed a budding romance between her character and that of another Klingon. What has been so beautiful about Elrel is that I get to do all that stuff that I learned from playing those male soldiers, she said. I've just been so proud they've allowed her to have so much softness and heart. Still, speaking the language has its challenges. Letters can have different sounds in any foreign language, including Klingon. After learning how to speak the words, actors then have to imbue those words with different emotions. Klingon as a language is very visceral, Ms. Kifo said. It's also not a language broadly spoken. Mr. Harberts said having a show like HBO's Game of Thrones, which includes many recently met up languages like Dothraki and Valyrian, gave the show a bit of cushion to introduce more Klingon. But it was the cast that really cemented the idea of including the language. Prior to filming the pilot, Ms. Kifo and her other Klingon castmates read through the Klingon text and stunned Mr. Harberts. The cast became an ensemble, he said. We knew that this was on another level, he said. And the work that Ray had done, and the cast had done, and Robin had done, it just became so very authentic.